Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Today we want to shoot a ballistic gelatin again. Um, but we don't just want to shoot with slingshots, but we also want to test some other unregulated weapons like air rifles, crossbows and um, also blank firing guns. Um, that's going to be interesting, let's see. Okay, first we're going to test this air rifle. Uh, we have to do this indoors because it's illegal to shoot with this outdoors. Um, and we're going to use very specific high penetration Walter pellets for this. Okay, next we're going to use slingshots, two commercial models. And this is a model by Truemark, and this is a model by Saunders with flat pants. And we're going to shoot 14 mm ball, 40 mm balls at it. Now the Saunders Hawk, same ball. Now we will use the fish hunter with the 50 mm ball. Now we're going to use my self-made W slingshot with rotating handles and hinges, and we're going to use a 19 mm lead ball for it. Now we're going to shoot this Chinese made crossbow that shoots 8mm lead uh, steel balls. So next we're going to try my arrow shooting wooden W that has the same rotating handle but it has the self-made whisker biscuit to guide the arrow. Okay, next we're going to use my trusted 12-year-old Devastator crossbow and we're going to use the same arrow just to make things fair. Ready? Okay, so next we're going to use this blank firing Erma revolver. It fires 9mm, 380 Blanks, so it's gonna get loud. So I think that was an interesting video. We've seen that slingshots can easily penetrate the ballistic gelatin, no problem, even with the weak standard bands of the custom made slingshots. And uh, arrows aren't that much better. Of course, if they fire from the crossbow, that's a different issue. But from the slingshot, I think a standard ball probably has better penetration than an arrow, at least one that doesn't have a broadhead tip. That was it. Thanks. Bye-bye.